Alrighty, today we're going to be creating our own fractions as well as our own number sentences. Now we're, all, we're going to be doing this on a pie chart, okay, so we've already worked on those two for the first couple of days, uh, so I don't really need to sort of explain how they work, but we haven't had a look at the uh, number lines either. Now these are no different to what we've been working with in terms of a circle, okay, they're still broken up into areas. So this one here is asking you to shade one half, and we see this is the whole, and it's broken up into one and two pieces. This here still is the whole, but it's broken up into four pieces. So it's got one, two, three, four. Okay, so it's still the same concept, just done differently. Now today you will be using both the number line and the circle to create your fraction and then compare them with your own number sentence. Okay, so this is how um, I want you to do the number line ones because unfortunately the paint will not work. Um, the bucket, sorry, won't work very well because it'll just do the whole thing. Um, but the bucket will definitely work with your uh, circle ones. But as I said, so we know how to do that. So for example, I want to be, I want to shade in a half. Uh, so I'll now I would suggest you can do it any way you want, but I would suggest a spray can. So as I said, I want a half, so I've got it broken into two pieces, and I want one of those pieces. So I'm just going to spray one of those pieces. All right, so there I've shaded in one half. All right, now the bottom one wants me to shade in three quarters. So remember, it's broken up into quarters, so there's one, two, three, four, and I want three of those shaded. So I'll choose another color. And I'm going to change, do three. So this is one, two, three. So now I've shaded three of those bits. And there you go, over it. There. Okay, now as I said, I mean, you can use the, the paintbrush or whatever, but as I said, I just found that easier and it's nice and quick. Now you have a look at it and go, okay, which one is bigger? Is a half or three quarters bigger? So then, A, you can either use your pencils or B, you can put in your text. So I'll put in my text, uh, put in my 2D text. Um, I'll make it about 28. Uh, and there. So you create your own number sentence. So you can have one half. And remember, you use either the greater than or less than. So we can go, say, then three quarters, okay? So there's my number sentence, okay? If it was the other way around, you will go that one, three quarters. Whereas if it's the, uh, if it's the same, you would just do the equals. It's totally up to you. Now, and then that's it. So you've, what you've done is you've been able to shade your own fraction and then you've created your own number sentence, all right? So today we're gonna to do it on the number line as well as on the circles. So that is our learning for today, to basically shade fractions as well as create our own number sentences, all right? Now, if you're going to use a text instead of um, just writing it down, uh, the greater than or less than uh, a keys, um, oh, they're, the, they're the ones that are on top of the full stop and the comma. Okay, so if you want to, sorry, if you want to use the uh, the greater than or less than, you press the shift button, um, and you use the comma or the full stop. Okay, so then that shows you one way or that you'll be able to see it on your keyboard. Okay, um, and then obviously the equals uh, generally it should be next to the backspace button. So you just got to press the equals. Uh, but that is how you do it. Um, and as I said, it's, you do it exactly the same way for the for the circles but you'll be able to use the actual uh, bucket tool for the circles, okay, so that'll make it easier. Whereas I'll show you what happens if I use a bucket for this one. So if I wanna use a bucket and I'll have it uh, say purple and I wanna shade five sixths, problem is when I click on it, it shades the whole line. Okay, so you can't use a bucket for this one, all right? But as I said, you can use it whatever you want as long as I can see that you've shaded these in and then you've created your own number sentence underneath it. So remember, two sheets today, number line and circles as well. And by the end of it, hopefully we've got a good understanding of creating your own 
fractions and greater than or less than. Good luck.